Okay guys, so um, this is going to be the next part of the center doily. Now what we're going to do is the ruffle that goes around. And I'm just using um, a baby pink color. And you could do it all one solid color, but um, this occasion I'm just going to make this a beige and pink. swan doily set so you're gonna make your your slip knot of course and doesn't matter where you start I mean you could finish where you you could start where you finished off which would be right here um, so in this loop what we are going to do is chain up three so let me get a hold of this yarn and I'm going to chain up three. It's hard to get through that slip knot. I tightened it so much. Let me loosen it a little bit. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so I already have my first chain in there. Get rid of these uh, flyaways and now I'm going to make the three. One, two, and three. And we are going to put five double crochets in this loop. So that's two, including the chain three. Three, four, and five. Okay. And because I feel like there's still so much space there, I'm probably going to make this six. So let's just put one more double crochet in there. Make it six and chain two. One, two. And then in that same loop, six more double crochets. So we have four, five, oops, picked up that beige string. We have five and one more makes six. Okay, so now we're just going to keep doing that all the way across. We are going to keep um, just going across putting five chain two I mean excuse me six chain two and then six okay so we're just going to keep going across Four, five, and six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain two, and then put six more in that same space.
okay so I'll show you what to do when we come back but I'm trying to make all my videos for each row um, five minutes long and if I can't then it'll be ten but so we're gonna put six double crochets in each loop chain two six more okay and I'll show you what to do when we get to the end of our row see you in the next video